So I didn't get the 10,000 mile journey that I wanted, but uh, we certainly put a hell of a lot of miles on this vehicle. This is the Toyota Prius Prime. And I thought uh, for today, I'd start off with uh, a review of that journey. But uh, before I get into that, let's just get a look at it. Uh, now you can see I put that 3M film on the front and uh, there's not too many bug strikes uh, after driving, uh, well, uh, probably only about uh, 5,000 miles, so I didn't, didn't quite get that. Uh, you know, still in good shape, no tar on the sides. Uh, so let's, uh, let's get going for a hike, and uh, I'll do my assessment of what I, <clears throat> what I thought of driving the Prius Prime for long distances, uh, uh, for a long time in the car. <clears throat> so let's get, let's get going. All right, so this is my second time making this video. This is uh, my driving review of the Toyota Prius Prime uh, back here at Sunny Hill, uh, just out hiking. And uh, anyway, uh, I guess that the, the first thing that I liked and didn't like was the automatic uh, high beams, which I figured out up in Lynchburg, Virginia, how to use them. And uh, they were overly sensitive. Uh, now, I'm not sure you, if you can adjust the sensitivity on those, but uh, they would cut on and off constantly uh even when there wasn't another car coming at me and uh so finally i mean i actually got to the point when i was driving through the country late at night it was about three in the morning and uh i just finally cut cut the uh, automatic uh, uh sensor off and just you you did it did it manually you know i hated reverting back to that so that's uh that's a feature that's not all that great on the toyota prius prime the uh the lane assist is pretty good um i and i didn't use it on my way up to lynchburg virginia but i i coming back you know i was getting tired and uh i said man you know what i haven't really used this lane assist on on an interstate you know and uh, so when i cut it on coming down 95 it did pretty good um it does fight you a little bit and you do have to keep your hand on the steering wheel and uh and then sometimes it'll uh It'll, it'll make a bad decision, like one time it tried to take me up an exit, uh, and I had to fight to get the car back in the, back on the interstate. <laughs> I don't know why, you know, so it's not perfect, you know, it's just, I guess it's kind of like Elon Musk with the Teslas, you know, he's going to have a self-driving car, I don't, I don't know, good luck with that, but, uh, so, but the lane assist, it was nice, because uh, I, I bought a burger while I was uh, traveling, and uh, I could sit there and eat the burger, and not, you know, take my hands off the steering wheel, and it would keep me in the lane pretty doggone good. So I did, I did like that, uh, that feature. So we talked about the high beams and the, uh, the lane assist. Um, oh, you know, of course, I've, in the past, I've told you about the adaptive cruise control. Uh, man, I tell you, if you, have, if, if you don't have a car with adaptive cruise control, I, I feel sorry for you. I, that is a feature that's uh, definitely worth having. Uh, man, I tell you, it does, it does maintain a good distance between you and the car in front of you. And, uh, you know, it's nice the fact that it slows down and you don't have to sit there and keep uh, cutting the cruise control on and off, you know, depending on what, you know, the idiot driver in front of you is doing, you know. And there were, you know, I'm sure if you've been on trips, there's a lot of idiots out there. It's, uh, it can get quite, uh, quite interesting on the highway. And, uh... Oh, the other thing was the, uh, I never thought I'd ever have to use it. And uh, I mean, because I've got the, the LE version of the Toyota Prius Prime. And, uh, but it's got heated seats. <laughs> and up in Virginia right now, I mean, I, I, I've been in Florida too long, man. I'm telling you, it's, uh, um, you know, so I've never, I've never even thought about the heated seat feature. But uh it does warm those seats up very, very nicely, and uh, that is a nice feature to have. Uh, well, especially depending on where you are in the country, but even if you're going to travel the country, you know, it's, it's good, to, good to have that, and I really appreciate that. And speaking of the seats, now I got the, um, since I have the LE version of the Prius Prime, um, I just, uh, I got the cloth seats. And I, you know, I'm, I'm sure maybe you would like the, the, the uh, modified leather or what, synthetic leather or whatever they want to call them. Um, I like the cloth seats, man. I'm going to tell you what. And the lumbar support was incredible. I mean, I drove in that car, well, well, going up it was 17 hours sitting in that seat. And coming back it was uh, um, almost 11 or 12 hours. 
And uh, you know what, I, I, my back is not hurting. I'm out here on the next day out hiking and, uh, and that tells you how comfortable that seat is. So Toyota, I mean, they knocked it out of the park with the, the seats that they put in. So uh, that was another thing that I liked. And uh, of course, having the, the hatchback, I mean, I, you do what you want. If you want to get a sedan with a trunk, you know, and uh, uh, having those fold down seats, I was, I had everything in the, in the world in there. And of course the cooler, I had the cooler. So all I did was buy some ice and I could uh, open up the cooler along the trip and uh, get out something uh, to eat or uh, pop to drink or whatever, you know, and uh, you just slide it back and forth. And of course I got the rubber mat before I went. Um, that's a hundred dollar add on that you have to buy. So um, I guess uh, that's kind of my, my, my next review of the Toyota Prius Prime. And uh, if you watch my videos, I showed you how to set up the automatic lights. It's just a button down on the left-hand side that you have to push in. Uh, like I said, that feature didn't work out too good for me. So uh, you, you do what you want. Um, so this is my next review of the Prius Prime. The, the next thing I got to figure out is uh, somehow I changed the uh, dash settings. <laughs> and I, I want to put them back the way they were, you know, and, uh, and, and so, you know, all you can, I, while I was driving, since I had that uh, lane assist, I was scrolling back and forth trying to figure out how to, to get the settings back up where I wanted them. And uh, I, I'll, but that'll be my next video. You guys, uh, peace out, stay free. Let's do the mantra. Freedom, oh freedom. Good to be back in the free state of Florida with no vax mandates, no mask requirements, and no jab, where we are free to come and do as we please in the great Republican state under the great leadership of Governor DeSantis. Woo